Hi everyone, hope you are well. It's been a while, but we're back. We had some time off just to uh, relax, both mentally and physically. But we're back with more recipes and more Greek cooking. And today we're gonna be starting with an amazing orange cake. We're not gonna be using any eggs or milk, and this cake is easy to make, quick, and absolutely delicious. Let's have a look at the ingredients. For the orange cake, you need 530 grams of plain flour. We need two teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And on the liquid side, we need 530 ml of freshly squeezed orange juice. Then we need 170 ml of sunflower oil. We need the zest, the zest of two oranges. We need one teaspoon of baking soda to make it lighter, 300 grams of granulated or caster sugar, and two teaspoons of white wine vinegar. And very importantly, we need our cake tin. And for the cake tin, we're gonna butter it and flour it and bake the cake at 180 degrees centigrade. So before we start making our cake, the first thing we need to do is preheat the oven at 180 degrees centigrade. Let's make a start. First things first. On the bowl with the flour, we're going to add the baking powder and the salt. And we're gonna give it a quick mix so everything is incorporated. Okay, then in a bigger bowl, I'm going to add my freshly squeezed orange juice. You cannot beat freshly squeezed orange juice, so if you can, make sure you do that and then i'm going to add my white wine vinegar and we add vinegar because we're not adding eggs so we want our cake to be nice and fluffy and trust me this cake is flavorsome extremely fluffy and as i said very quick and easy to make and in here i'm going to add my baking soda and when you add the baking soda look what happens That ensures our cake is really fluffy and light and heavy. Okay, simple so far. Then we're going to add our sunflower oil. And the reason we add sunflower oil and not olive oil is because the sunflower oil is a little bit lighter and without any taste. So we want our cake to smell and taste of beautiful oranges. And then we're going to add our sugar. And then we're gonna give this a mix. And the next thing we're going to add is the zest of the two oranges. You can, if you want, add the zest of one orange, but we love, absolutely love oranges. So we've added the zest of two oranges. And make sure you zest your oranges first and then you squeeze them for the juice. Simple so far? Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the flour mixture into the liquid mixture. I'm gonna do it like this. And then, carefully, we're gonna fold everything together. So that will take about a minute or so. I finished mixing my butter now. Look how beautiful this looks. And you can really see the speckles of orange zest. Trust me, you will love this cake. Okay, the next step is we need to butter and flour our cake tin because we don't want our cake to stick. So I have here like a tablespoon of butter and I'm gonna make sure that my cake tin is buttered very, very well. And then I also have here a tablespoon of flour or you can use a bit more if um, you need to. And I'm gonna make sure that my cake tin is properly coated with the flour also. Here we are, I've buttered my tin very well. And I have to tell you, if you don't want to use uh, butter, you can just use sunflower oil to oil the tin, and then you follow the same process. So you just add the flour to coat the whole of the cake tin. I'm adding the flour now to the tin. And then I'm just going to give it a quick shake over the sink 
to make sure that the flower goes everywhere. Ready? This is how a keitin should look. It should be beautifully buttered or oiled and coated with some flour to ensure that our beautiful cake doesn't stick. Now we're going to enter the final stage of this recipe, which is to add the cake into the cake tin. And our oven is preheating lovely at 180 degrees centigrade and we're gonna put the cake in the oven and let it cook for about 50 minutes but you want it to be beautiful and golden brown on top and it will rise very nicely and you know what i'm like by now i don't like waste so we scrape every little bit of the cake into the cake tin. ready Tastes delicious. Here we are. So, cake in the oven for about 15 minutes. Close the door and leave it there to do its thing. 15 minutes have passed, so we're ready. The cake smells absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to take it out of the oven. And we need to let the cake cool completely. Here we are. Now, there is a little surprise that I'm going to show you once the cake has cooked completely. We're going to create a lovely orange glaze to go on top. So, take its time, leave it on one side, let it cook completely, and then we're going to take it out of the tin. I'm very excited about this part because the, the cake has cooled. So, let's have a look together. guys you're gonna love this cake okay you understand now you you know what i was saying before about the importance of oiling or buttering and flouring your cake tin properly to make sure that you have this beautiful result that will impress everybody okay so i promised you a little um twist okay so here in a little bowl i'm going to put 120 grams of icing sugar and on that, I'm going to add three tablespoons of orange juice. 120 grams of icing sugar and three tablespoons of freshly squeezed orange juice. If you don't have oranges, just use a really nice soft pot orange juice, never from concentrate. You want this cake to be absolutely lovely and full of orange flavor. Okay, so I've added here my three tablespoons and I wanna show you what happens very quickly. I'm gonna mix this together carefully so my icing sugar doesn't go everywhere. And then I'm gonna glaze our orange cake. Here's what, 120 grams of icing sugar and three tablespoons of orange juice creates. Doesn't that look? wonderful okay so very easy just with your spoon drizzle it all over the beautiful cake that you have created and trust me this um, um, mixture is enough to cover the top of your cake and make it looking amazing wonderful isn't it you have to make it i think you will love it if you like oranges this is the cake for you
no tell me doesn't that look wonderful and the last thing you can do is you know your fresh orange you can decorate it either at the bottom or at the top it's entirely up to you with your orange pieces come and have a look at this orange cake no eggs absolutely wonderful i hope you enjoyed it it's so nice to be back with yourselves to keep you company and cook some greek food don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends all about our channel and i'll see you here next time for some more greek cooking take care bye bye